Hey guys, in this session we're going to be using the calculator function in Desmos to calculate a simple little problem like area of a rectangle and area of a circle. So one of the things you need to understand with Desmos is it has the ability to store variables within its calculator function. So for example, if I write b is equal to 3, then for the rest of my, the time that I'm actually using this particular calculator, b is always going to equal to 3. So if you were to say something like 4 multiplied by b, then you can see that the answer is actually equal to 12. So since b is equal to 3, I'm going to sh now show uh, put h is equal to 5. And in the next line, I'm going to write area of a rectangle. So area of a rectangle equals base multiplied by height. And right there, you can see what the area of, well, what the formula is actually done here. It's actually done base times height. Cool. Let me show you guys the circle one. So if I have radius is equal to 3, now the Desmos calculator will over, already pick this up as R, so therefore it'll say, okay, so that means we want a circle with radius of 3. So I'm not really worried about the pictures here. I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to replace it with, um, you know, I'm just going to get rid of the picture. Uh, so I'm going to write down area is equal to pi r squared for circle. Now, a quick way to do pi is just type in pi. Uh, multiplied by r squared and there you go I've actually got 28.27 as the area of the circle now remember I said that it, the calculator actually has the um, has the potential to store letters as ver um, store letters as variables so if I go into the next line and I type in a and press straight away you can see this exclamation mark coming uh, that's because as it says uh, it's actually you I've actually defined a in more than one place that's because there's an A here and there's an A here. So what I could do is um, I could actually rewrite this as um, what I'd shown you guys before. So I could write it as A1 and I could write it as A2 if I want to. But what I'm trying to demonstrate is I'm going to leave this one as A because then you can see in the sixth line A is equal to the same thing as this. But, you know, what about... How would you write something like, um, instead of A1, is it possible that we can actually write actual full, full words? So if we were to do that, we would type in area. But the problem is there's too many letters there. So what you can do is, there's a slight little trick that you, that you can do, is after the A, you press underscore, and everything moves to the subscript after that. So we can write something like this, where it becomes area. I'm going to put this as area of rec. So area of rectangle is equal to 15. And for the circle, I'm going to do the similar thing. I'm going to press underscore, and that drops it to the subscript. Area of circle. So now area of circle is equal to this. Now, if I want this particular value and I want it to be rounded up, then I could actually do that also in this calculator function. So what I would do is I'd put down A is equal to round of going to round off A. I'm just trying to work it out. So basically I've said A is equal to round, round area of circle up. Now what you'll notice is it's actually rounded up to a whole number here. So say if you want two decimal places, then what you need to do is you need to multiply by 100 and divide by 100. And when you multiply by 100 and divide by 100, uh, it actually gives out a decimal point for two decimal places. If I want it to be one decimal place, I would multiply by 10 and divide by 10. And there you go. You actually end up with one decimal place. All right, guys. The reason I'm actually showing you guys uh, how to use these formulas in the calculator is because uh, later on in this series, I'll, I will actually show you guys some neat stuff that you can do with combination of formulas and the graphs to come up with some neat stuff um, in Desmos itself. All right, guys, that's basically it for this uh, short little video. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.